Hello everyone, it's Allie if you didn't know and welcome back to another vlog. This video has been such a long time coming. So today we are doing a massive, intense, deep clean and with two people cleaning, it normally takes us about five, six hours to clean the whole house. Obviously if it was just by myself, this would be split up into two days, but my lovely husband cleans as well and he helps out and he is amazing. So hopefully our goal is to be done by like five, six o'clock tonight. This video is going to include a lot of montages, but also a lot of tips. I personally like cleaning. To me, it's very therapeutic. It kind of weirdly helps me unwind. Like as much as it is tiring, when I'm done, I just feel so renewed. So I thought I would share some tips with you guys. The first tip that I have is to do some stuff the day before or the morning of whatever. And what I mean by this is that if you do laundry on the weekends or if you just have stuff lying around your house everywhere, like for instance, we have a dog who loves plush toys and there was fuzz all over the house, do that stuff the night before. So yesterday, my lovely, lovely, lovely husband started the laundry for me while I was at work and he actually finished it, so thank you, babe. And he's right there if you guys are wondering. And so we did the laundry yesterday, we finished it out this morning. I went around this morning and picked up all of the fuzz and toys that my dog had destroyed, threw them away. We cleared off the counters on the kitchen. There's stuff drying on the drying rack, but the dishwasher's going. The whole point is to just make your life easier so when you start cleaning, everything is up and out of the way. My second tip for you guys is to make a list. I think lists are very helpful when cleaning, especially if it's more than one person cleaning. Just, it organizes everything, it shows I, if you're like me and you're the person that heads the cleaning and it shows the other person what you want to get done. So I have my list right here, each room of the house we're tackling today and what needs to be done in each room. Starting off strong in the kitchen, my third tip for you guys would be to wipe down your cabinets. I would suggest doing this twice a year. The amount of grime and buildup of fingerprints on it is really just gross and honestly I was shocked at how dirty the water got and how many times I had to change out the water during this process. And it wouldn't be a deep cleaning video without cleaning out the fridge. Honestly, I would recommend doing this once a week, but especially during a deep clean because you never know what you've forgotten there. On a day-to-day -day basis, we do have just a regular daily cleaner that we use to clean the house. You know, the stuff that you get at the store that, you know, with no bleach that we just use to like wipe down surfaces in general. But when we are deep cleaning, I, for one, we both are firm believers in Dawn dish soap. I like to use this to clean the kitchen just because obviously it's not as harmful as the cleaners, but it's also a really powerful degreaser. When you're in the kitchen every single day, like we are touching everything, you know, oil gets splattered everywhere. This is perfect. I highly, highly recommend investing in Dawn dish soap. And just like that, the kitchen is completely done. I thought I was gonna get it done in like an hour. It took a little bit longer than that, but it is so worth it. It looks so much better. In the living room, there was a lot to do, but the fourth tip I have for you guys, and probably one of the most important, is to wipe down all the doorknobs in your house, as well as dust everything that you can. The amount of bacteria that accumulates on doorknobs is just disgusting just because of course multiple people are touching them every single day, but also the amount of dust we breathe in every single day is not healthy. So you just wanna dust everything you can. Air vents, crown molding, blinds, baseboards, anywhere where dust accumulates, do your best to get rid of it because you definitely don't want dust in your house causing potential respiratory issues. My fifth tip for you guys is to move your furniture. Now you really wouldn't do this in just a regular clean, but you definitely want to do this when you are deep cleaning your house because when these areas go untouched for months at a time, you will be shocked at how much dust and dog hair and God knows what else accumulates. Also, look how cute my dog is. 
In the entryway, there wasn't a lot to do in here besides wipe stuff down, but my sixth tip for you guys is to wash your curtains and your rugs. Because once again, you don't want to be stepping on something gross or breathing in something you shouldn't. All right, we have finally reached the end. We are in the last section of the house, the last room, whatever you want to call it, we have made it. We are in our bedroom now, and we're going to do our bedroom and bathroom, and then we'll be done. It's, what time is it? Uh, 4.55. It is 4.55. We're going to see how quickly we can get all this done. Guys, we were so happy to get to this point. It was the end of the day. We were tired and ready to kick back. In our master bath, we had cleaned it the week prior, so we didn't really need to do much to it except re-wipe everything down. But I will give you a little side tip. When you're cleaning your showers, try to get a scrub brush in there and make sure to get all the nooks and crannies to get that gross pink mildew out of there. I don't know about you guys, but that stuff seriously grosses me out. And just like that, guys, we have a clean house. It feels so dang good. I love a clean house. It makes me feel so happy and calm and settled. But that does bring me to my seventh and final tip, which is to go reward yourself. You just spent all day cleaning, whether it was by yourself or you roped people in. You did it and it's hard work. So go reward yourself in whatever way you deem fit because you deserve it. All right guys, that brings us to the end of this video. The house is clean, it feels so good. We lit a candle, we have the ambiance set, and we're about to order a pizza and just kick back for the night. It feels so good to have everything clean and fresh, and the house just smells amazing right now because we have scented floor cleaner. It's amazing, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please comment down below some cleaning tips that maybe I didn't mention that you'd like to share with me, as well as hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next vlog.